What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is all about the Wise Robot Vacuum. It is a 255-ish dollar robot vacuum, meaning that it'll go and vacuum your house either when you schedule it to or when you tell it to, and it works fantastic. This is, I've had a few robot vacuums, I think I've had three. This is definitely the easiest and most reliable and it gets stuck the least amount as well. I've had great success with this vacuum, so let's talk about it. All right, so here's a closer look at the vacuum. You'll see that it does plug into the wall. You have a base station right here that it will automatically connect to that base station without you doing anything. When it's vacuuming and it's gonna run out of battery, it'll automatically go back to this recharge and then go back to where it left off. And then ultimately it'll also find it if you just randomly tell it to go back to it. Here's the vacuum right here. The vacuum has a few buttons right there. As you can see, hopefully you get that a little bit better in focus. There's the buttons right there. You get a power button and then also basically a button that tells the vacuum to go back. So when you lift up the little flap, you're gonna find the dustbin and a little brush to clean the vacuum. The dustbin is really easy to maneuver and open and it allows you to remove and clean the HEPA filter as well in there. And once you do have it opened up, it's real simple. You dump it out, close it back up, and then at that point, you're basically ready to put it right back, snap it in to the vacuum. On the bottom of the vacuum, that's where you can replace some of the brushes if you want. There's time limits that you'll check in the app, and I'll show you that in a moment, that will allow you to know when to replace them. So let's take a quick look at the app for the vacuum. You go into your Wise app, and then tap on the name of your vacuum, and in here, you're gonna see a lot of information about it. It'll tell you basically what it's done total within the last period of time. It's done 801 square feet of vacuuming. It's currently at 100% battery life, 1.3 hours of usage. At the top in the middle, you see the map of what it has vacuumed so far, like in its lifetime. Clicking on the gear in the top right, we'll bring you here where you can change the device name if you wish. You can set a schedule. I don't set a schedule and I'll kind of explain that a little bit later why I don't do that. Then you have suction level, you have quiet, standard, and strong. I probably would recommend strong. Standard does leave a little bit of remnants sometimes of, you know, dirt. Notifications, you can turn those on and off for the vacuum. You get your cleaning history when it'll show you, you know, how often you vacuumed with this and how long it did it. You have accessories, so this is gonna tell you the accessories on the vacuum, where to find them and how to access them. So you see I have like, for instance, I should have remaining time with the HEPA filter, 144 hours, the edge brush, 194 hours, and then the main brush, 294 hours, and then you can buy the additional accessories when you need those on Wise's website. It does come with one of the brushes here for replacement if you need it. You can reset your map if you want to, you can share it, Go to device info in here and check your firmware versions and things like that and see if there's any updates. Update available only when charging, so everything's good because I don't have an update. But beyond that, very easy to use app. If you want it to start vacuuming, you'll see on the main little slot here, looking at the vacuum at the very bottom, if I press that button at the very bottom, that will start the vacuum. And that's generally the way I use it. And I guess I'll just <laughs> tell you real quick, it's really because, um, it allows me to put the chairs up so they get out of the way and you know move things that I know that the vacuum gets stuck on. So what I'm gonna do now is start the Wise Robot Vacuum so you can hear how loud it is, how good it is at picking up dirt, and how good it is with its bump detection in terms of is it gonna bump into the walls, is it gonna bump into the furniture, things like that. So let's jump into it.
All right, so I'm using the robot vacuum right now from Wise, and a couple of things I wanted to mention, like things that, because it's a robot vacuum, it's not a human doing it, so if you schedule it out, you're gonna wanna do certain things, such as put chairs up onto the table so that they get out of the way and it can vacuum. Um, things that you, or areas you know that it's going to get stuck, you wanna block those with physical items or you wanna remove them. For instance, I have this mat right here that always gets stuck. So I remove this mat, I put it up on top and it kinda of gets out of the way. A cool thing about the robot vacuums is, or as you can see, it gets all the way underneath things like this. It's a little bit dark, sorry, I'm doing this at night, but you know, something that you might not put your vacuum under, this will get right underneath there and get all the nitty gritty stuff. Also, this vacuum, when it does the edges of things, like edges of right here and you know, just things right here, sometimes it misses some of the dirt within there, but if it's straight on, it'll get it. I would say it picks up about maybe, I don't know, 90, 95% of the stuff that it sees on the floor for the most part. So after using the Wise Robot Vacuum for a few weeks at this point, it works great. Now, again, when I mentioned that scheduling thing, you wanna make sure, if you, especially if you wanna clean most of the floor, you're gonna to wanna to move things so that it does get those areas that you know a human would know to move out of the way, such as a chair or something like that. Same thing with areas that it gets stuck in. My vacuum, the vacuum for me didn't, it, it got stuck in one spot, which was, I have this like TV mount. It would get stuck underneath there sometimes, but generally, if it gets stuck, it kind of can you know, weasel its way out of there pretty good. So it, it's definitely, and that's one of the reasons I love the vacuum is I've had other robot vacuums that are just like, oh, nope, I'm stuck, I'm not moving. This, for me, hasn't really gotten stuck. Another cool thing is it's actually really gentle and good when it bumps into different areas like a wall or a, a chair or anything. It's very gentle and it goes away from it immediately upon bumping into it and kind of just glides along. It also hasn't really had any issues with going back to the base when it needed to charge. And the cool thing about it is it, when it does my downstairs area, it's a pretty wide area, so it does need to charge twice. So after about, I think it's like 10%, it'll automatically go back to the charger, recharge up to like 80, 90%, and then go back out and finish it right where it left off. It works really well. So I would definitely recommend the Wise Robot Vacuum. Like I said, I haven't really had any issues. I love the scheduling part of it. I love that you can randomly start with, you know, when you use it. I love that it goes back to the charger really with not any issues and it works pretty well and it's easy to maneuver in terms of getting to the dust bins and cleaning it and changing the filters and changing the brushes. All of that works fantastic. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a robot vacuum, it's much, much cheaper than like a Roomba. So check it out. Works really, really well. I'll link it down below. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.